So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to locally modify the roughness. Uh, so like the bed roughness on the bottom of the cellophane object that I talked about in the last tutorial. Uh, in the last tutorial, I created the bottom friction variable here, uh, which is read in when you in the .cas file that you use with Telemac. Uh, so this basically specifies what the roughness coefficient is across the domain. But say we want, um, in the last video, we specified that it was going to be 0 0.06 across the domain. But say just over this little stretch of the river here, we want a different roughness value. Uh, so the, the, this method is basically you can do it along any, any set of nodes or any stretch of the river. I'm just going to do it for a very small segment here because uh, drawing the outline actually takes a little bit of time. So I'll just do it over this reach here say this is where we want to have uh, a roughness of 0 0.35 instead of the 0 0.06 uh, so you just basically use the the uh, new close line tool and just draw the area that you want to have a different roughness value and then just hit escape it's going to ask you to name it so just call it new roughness value and then here, just type in the value that you want it to have, so 0 0.035, and then get rid of the meters. I don't think this actually changes anything, but we're going to remove it anyways, and then just click OK. As you can see, there's nothing's actually changed on the bottom friction, uh, uh, like what's being displayed in the two-dimensional view. Uh, but in order to actually bring this, the values that are within this polygon onto the mesh, uh, we, we'll just select bottom friction and then go to our trusty map object tool, go down to um, this new roughness value and then it, it's just going to map it on there. So here it says holes are defined in some GIS coverages as polygons with counterclockwise point ordering. Does the object new roughness have any holes? Uh, yes means only map polygons that are not holes. No means map all polygons re regardless of point ordering. I tried this with yes before. It doesn't work uh, so I just go with no and then it just pops up here. So you can see that the value within the polygon, so if I click on one of the nodes within the polygon, it should show up as 0.035 for a roughness value. Uh, it takes a little bit to show up here, but here we go. So 0.035, and then if I click on the outside in our default mesh, uh, the value that we placed for, for the default on the outside of this polygon is 0.06. So that basically works. Um, that's just a simple method to impose different roughness, uh, roughness conditions on the bed of the river or different sections you could have a rougher section here because you know it's there's a lot of trees or maybe a lot of brush or something and you want to you want to model that roughness you can then define different polygons pretty much anywhere in your domain and then just map them onto your bottom friction variable and uh, that's basically everything that i wanted to show about the locally modifying bed roughness uh, so the next step, actually this basically completes everything that we need uh, in order to set up the model uh, within Blue Canoe. And then in the next tutorial, we're going to be exporting all of the necessary files that Telemac is actually going to use to run the simulation. Uh, so hope I see you in that one.